welcome it is tabloid media news it is day 60 for the national lockdown and these are some of the headlines the department of education has confirmed today that a staff member at the egg primary school in cape town has tested positive for covid 19. this comes after some teachers returned to school in preparations for the first of june reopening of schools for grade 7 and grade 12s KZN teachers will only return on the 28th of May due to the delay delivery of personal protection equipment by the department to those schools. Along with Eid celebrations, the 57th anniversary of the Organization of African Unity was celebrated today with the World Africa Day. President Cyril Ramaphosa made many South Africans happy with the news that restrictions on the sale of alcohol will be lifted and they can again enjoy the consuming of alcohol on level 3. Details regarding the sale of the alcohol is yet to be announced. But that didn't stop social media from rejoicing as for smokers, many of whom were hoping to buy their favorite tobacco brand have expressed their disappointment and anger and have to wait till level 1. However, the court battle to lift the ban continues this week. Sasa has received just under 5 million applications for the 350 unemployment grants, however, only paid out 10. They did say this was the test of the system and has apologized for the delay, stating that each application had to be checked and verified. In international news, bars and restaurants have reopened in Tanzania and India has resumed domestic flights despite the rise of coronavirus numbers and the extensions of the lockdown. This is Tabloid News. Join me again tomorrow for the latest headlines and updates on COVID-19. Our guest tonight leads no introduction. He's the chairman and trustee of the Juma Masjid Trust and financial director of the 1860 Heritage Center, Dr. A.V. Mohammed. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, to each and every one, good day and blessings to the community at large. I wish to bring to an urgent attention to all of humanity that we are in this pandemic together and we all have to play our role to understand the seriousness of this and the role played by the health authorities and the role played by the government of the different countries of the world. For us to see back to our normal life very shortly, it is not possible as we all have a role to play to work together to ensure that the required social distancing, the, uh, the wearing of the mask and being protective not only for oneself and one family but for humanity at large. We need to protect our fellow human beings as this is of a very, very important to each and every one of us. That is one of our fundamental duties. We hope and pray that on this blessed day of Eid, which the Muslims throughout the world are celebrating, we hope that each and every one of you will be involved in protecting your fellow human being. We pray to God Almighty Allah to help us and to ensure in us the trust that we have to make certain that we are also part of this great sacrifices that has to be made to see to our lives being returned to normal. God bless us all. Thank you.